Humanitarian aid with medical supplies and fresh water reaches a community affected by conflict. Humanitarian aid with medical supplies and fresh water reaches a community affected by conflict. Peace, not peace. Humanitarian aid with medical supplies and fresh water reaches a community affected by conflict. Okay. Would anybody like to share why you're standing where you're standing? Anyone we haven't heard from yet? Is that a hand or a stretch? Okay. Uh, it's not a piece. Uh, first, the problem is about conflict affected area and they're giving humanitarian aid. They are not actually addressing what is the root cause of the problem. Okay. So it's it's not peace because the problem still exists. Yeah, yes, okay. Exactly. It's actually just a band-aid solutions because they are not actually hitting what's the real point or what's the real reasons of conflict and it's not being stated. It's just a conflict but it doesn't go to what's the conflict for. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody over here? Why are you? You went pretty quickly over to peace. Not that absolute, but uh, maybe my perspective is more on what these people are doing in the area. Because um, from from what I've known um, under the Geneva Convention, people who are giving aid. Um, we have a nurse here. I think she knows that too. People who are giving aid. Two armed conflict areas should be or should be people or are people who's trying to address a certain an emergency need. So they are people of peace who would like to uh, who would not um, think of who's the enemy or who's not, but generally would aid people who are victims there, in the conflict area. Okay. Um, specifically, the Red Cross is in Red the Cross. Red Cross and the Red Crescent. Um, it promotes just justice and it does not merely um, um, getting the side of someone who is on um, or are oppressed or are the victims. They are neutral. They don't see. They don't see. They, and they practice the international humanitarian law. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What else? Did anybody want to add? Mm -hmm. And like humanitarian is not limited to the physical or addressing the physical needs. Like humanitarian aid can also provide comfort, security, and sometimes um, it can uh, minimally it can uplift the environment of the um, of conflict within areas. Right. So first, um, the kind of conflict is not clear, like yes. whether it's typhoon or maybe it's a war or whatever. Then secondly, is that it's not clear whether we're going to give it to the victims or to those people who cause conflicts. Because necessarily, when we give um, aid to those people who must conflict, it's like we're tolerating what they're doing. So a question is, within oftentimes humanitarian aid workers and conflict resolution practitioners are at odds with one another because some people believe that humanitarian workers, um, by giving uh, aid to some people and not all, it's making uh, the conflict worse, and sometimes people it, it can it can result in violence. Bringing humanitarian aid because of the people wanting the aid so desperately, it can result in violence. There have been um, aid trucks that have been hijacked, and so there is often violence around the bringing of aid to areas. Okay, sometimes that's those are those are things that have to be considered. Okay, what else? I wanted to say something. Anything else about humanitarian? So I'd like you to have a seat.